and new evidence tonight about the power of an ancient remedy to lower cholesterol. Most Americans trying to control high cholesterol turn to statin drugs like Lipitor or Crestor. But millions of others cannot or just will not take those prescription drugs every day. John McKenzie reports on a health food that may work for them. It's been a staple of some Asian countries for more than a thousand years. Red yeast rice. As food coloring, it gives Peking duck its signature red glow. As herbal medicine, it lowers cholesterol levels. It works much the way a statin would work by reducing the amount of cholesterol that the liver makes, but at a much gentler level. This latest research followed patients who were taken off prescription statins, such as Lipitor or Zocor, because it left them with severe muscle pains. Half then tried 1,800 milligrams of red yeast rice supplements a day. After 12 weeks, LDL, or bad cholesterol, dropped an average 27%, and for the vast majority, there were no muscle pains. I was pleasantly surprised with the degree of LDL lowering, somewhat more than I might have expected, and also the patients tolerated the red yeast rice very well with a very small number of side effects. Chuck Jones saw his total cholesterol level plummet from 221 down to 135. Well, I was very excited by the results. I am a chemist. I had not heard of the red yeast rice prior to being in the study. The biggest problem with red yeast rice is that unlike statin drugs, it's not regulated. So whether you buy it as dry grains or ground powder or a pill at a health food store, you can't be certain of exactly how much you're getting or whether it's been contaminated. Which is why patients are advised to consult their doctors. The doctor can recommend which brand of red yeast rice to take that's known to be safe and can also appropriately monitor for cholesterol levels and for liver function tests. But for those with borderline high cholesterol who cannot or will not take a prescription drug, an ancient supplement just might be the answer. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.